Welcome to another episode of Bloodlust Boxing. I'm Sav. And I'm Baz. And uh, yeah, we've been away for a little while. Um, those those of you that don't know, uh, me and Baz are actually brothers. It's like, yeah. But um, like warrior style, it's, you know, might drop. But um, yeah, unfortunately, we suffered a bit of a bereavement in the family. So um, we, we took some time out. We didn't feel it was right to do some recording whilst things were going on and, and um, just needed some time away. So it's difficult trying to keep it upbeat when, when you've got stuff going on like that in the background. But yeah, everyone just stay close to your family stay, and friends and uh, yeah, stay well. So um, yeah, but let's let's get into the boxing news. There's been a lot happening since we've been away and uh, yeah, it's been mad. Um, but even more boxing news and f- this weekend a lot going on this weekend we've got the um fight starting from friday on channel five uh carlin eubank fighting nice free tear one that one and then we've got the jermaine franklin versus dillian white on saturday on oh, the- oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually not too bad was dun, that quite good dun, dun, dun. I'm getting excited. Yeah. <laughs> getting hyped for the fight now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure about the fight before. Now that's it. That's it. That's it. That's got you in there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just, just stay away from I uppercuts. do like his walkout. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I do it's like nice, his walkout music. It's a nice yeah. intro. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to get the crowd going, isn't it? Yeah. It's a shame we can't be there, really. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But um, just quickly, we've got the Rider Fight versus Park on Queensbury Saturday. And we've got Boxer Show on Sunday. Um, Adam Azim um, versus, Ryle, versus Ryland Trout on. Um, and yeah, we've got Richards on the undercard there. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So a lot going on this weekend. But let's get to the one that we want to talk about. Um yeah, Dillian White versus Jermaine Franklin. So what what's what's going on? What's what, what's the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Just my guy, my guy just gotta live like this. Just <laughs> just like that. The whole fight. <laughs> what what's that? It's a stop stop. Maybe, the even, maybe even yeah, yeah, maybe both hands. Just you you wanted to go for that tur- turtle shell. Turtle uh, shell, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> just avoid the uppercut yeah but, <laughs> the hooks can fly in they're, they're cool they're just, just, just avoid the uppercut yeah 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 <laughs> I, 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 thought, I want to put it out on recorded TV YouTube I got the I called it called it right the last fight against Tyson Fury I said the uppercut there were witnesses there was a room full That's of true. people before That's the true. fight started I said there was going to be an uppercut and that was going <laughs> to knock out Dylan White, and I, I think I even called the round. You did. You did. I ain't going to lie. That was before we were recording. So, um, but yeah, no idea what happens in this fight. So it's, uh, yeah, talk to it. Talk to me. Like, what, what, what do you think is going to happen? What... So, look, looking at Franklin, yeah, he's got like, was it 21 victories? No, no mm. defeats. Um, but then, that that sounds good, but then when you look through the record, you're yeah. like, okay, let's see, let's see who he's on there, and mm. you still go down the names, and you're like, don't recognize him, don't recognize him, don't recognize him, don't recognize him, don't recognize him. <laughs> and then, All and then I'm saying look- is, twenty one losses. The last guy he fought, twenty one losses. That's like you. That's, it, I might as well jump in there as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I got a better record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the tail of the tape? Tail of the tape. <laughs> no, you can't Shout do out. that to them. <laughs> Shout out undefeated uh, podcast. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah they're, we're, they're cool. we're big big fans of them, big fans. So, um, yeah. yeah, if you're watching this, yeah, give us a like, but. Um, yeah, it's oh man, yeah, it's not 
it looks like it's a good record. When, as I said, you go down the names and and you, you don't recognise anyone. Um, we we've gone back, looked at some fights. So uh, positives. He's, he's got a good chin. Yeah, he's got a good chin. It doesn't seem to get wobbled. He can take some big punches. Um, doesn't seem to get damaged either by the looks of it. Like I ain't seen in one no. of his fights a cut, a bruise, like nothing really. No, no, exactly. Um, he he lacks power. Like he ain't got a good knockout ratio. Um, yeah. Again, only fourteen minutes by KO. He throws punches and it doesn't seem to really wobble the opponents. Um, looking at the last mm. couple, he was struggling like to sort of back them up a bit, but decent work rate. Um, you know what? He's got that similar stature to like a baby Miller. Mm. And I, that's, and a, I, that's I, a good comparison, you know. And and I was kind of looking at the the output as well. It's the output's not too bad. And I was kind mm. of thinking, actually, is there any VADA testing for this fight? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it won't matter. No one's, like, no one's touching VADA for a long time now. <laughs> Eddie Hearn doesn't believe in VADA anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one wants to get popped for some, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, not, not saying that for me. I don't want to disparage him, but, yeah. It, um. He has got a good uppercut, though. He has. Frank has got a good uppercut. So let's hope (laughs) Dillian White's been practicing. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously, he's teamed up with a new trainer. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. Buddy, Buddy's a cool trainer. I like him. I like his style. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's done good things with, with other fighters. Callum Smith, yeah. Callum Smith looked a mm. different beast under him, isn't he? He's, he's yeah. knocking people out in brutal fashion. I think we mm. he was even one of our, on one of our bloodlust moments of the week, which will be returning soon. We'll, yeah. we'll do a proper sit down soon. You know, one of our old style videos, which, we, you know, it's, it takes a little bit on the edit inside, but, you know, um, we'll do one of those sit downs. Bloodlust moment, we'll bring it to you. Um, but yeah, yeah. Callum Smith, Buddy McGirt, They've done well. I mean, your buddy McGirt, but has he had enough time to work with uh, Dylan White? So this is the thing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced he's had enough time. And mm. if he's going to take it on board, yeah, yeah. Um, i I've, I've not seen nothing in his past to say he takes on a lot of what the trainers tell him. So, <sighs> I don't know. It's tricky. After he lost to AJ, he, he said he went away and um, he started getting nutritionists. He started getting other people involved. He he was out working out that Loughborough gym. Um, it did it did noticeably improve after then. So I feel like he has gone and built and he's learned learned things. But uh, yeah, I think I you're know, right. He's still he's still kind of got that lazy style though, like where uh, his hands are quite low all the time. Mm. Um, he's not. He's not he the quickest caught, on yeah. his feet. He's not he's got, the quickest got, on his feet. He's got that great left hook, obviously. Yeah, which is yeah, which yeah. has saved him a lot of times. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's he's always thing, got he's, that knockout potential. But I, I don't yeah. know. But yeah, obviously, he's been on a little bit of a downward spiral since he left Tibbs. Um, I think they were a perfect, perfect match. It's a shame they broke that relationship up. Um, obviously. He went from there to Xavier Miller. Um, mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I think it's a good move trainer-wise. Um, let's see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Be interesting. But do you, what do you reckon, then, in terms of... Does it go to distance? Reckon, I reckon points. Points decision white, I reckon. Points white. Yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. shout-out. Yeah. I, I I'm there, I'm there, <laughs> but I'm kind of like at the same you're time. Just, this you're just you're just not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm hedging my bets a little bit because I think there could be a yeah. big upset. There could you're gonna, be. You're gonna I put mean, a cheeky a cheeky tenor on on a 
<laughs> I might get knocked out. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I saw the face off between the two of them, and uh, Franklin wasn't phased at all. Like, didn't want went full roadman on him. He was like, "Yeah, I got my boys outside." He, he was talking <laughs> outside. Of him. He was talking out of shadowy map, and and um, <laughs> try... <laughs> my boys over here. Yeah, but um, it weren't phased, Franklin. Which I yeah. really liked. I really liked that. Mm. And I'm hoping that might bode well for a great fight because he's got similar to like that Deontay Wilder Hellenius fight. Mm. This Frank Franklin should be tailor made for Dillian White of old. Like if 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 you hadn't seen the the losses against Tyson Fury and um what's his face? Um before Tyson Fury, Povetkin, yeah. obviously he, he, he turned it over. If you hadn't seen those losses, you would have thought, yeah, this this man's going to be easy for uh, dealing with White. But um, you just don't know yeah. how much of an impact that's had on his mental. Yeah, mental he's thirty five as well. He's thirty five didn't work yeah. as well now. So, so it could be could be a big upset. Could be, could be. Let's see. Um, Let's see. One man's on the way down. One man's on the way up, potentially. Uh, but everything is saying it should go for a points victory for Dillian White. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. I obviously got um, Nathan Gorman versus uh, Fabio Wardley on the undercard. That's a great fight as well. I'm excited yeah. for that one. Um this is Fabio Wardley's step up fight. Um, yeah, Gorm- he needed one. Yeah, it's been a long, been a long time. He he came in, didn't he, Fabio Wardley? I think he fought in um, fight camp in Eddie Earn's back garden, and he's been doing well. He's been sort of gradually building up, but the jumps haven't been big enough, have they? Nah, the, the opponents have been pretty bad, to be honest. Uh, like, I mean, it, it's always the case. This, I mean, this is something. With, with another occasion we're going to have to talk about deeply is is just how many fighters have had these padded records I mean they all do it it's it's, it's not like I'm just picking on one person but mm. just every promoter does it they obviously they throw them in if they, if they think they're going to make big money out of them in the end they'll just give them the crappiest fighter they can find and then that's it there's none of this like I'll oh, prove yourself Video is cut off. Yeah, sorry, it was, uh, no, <laughs> <it> was, uh, <laughs> update, update. <laughs> oh yeah, up, update. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, to, yeah. To, not, to not drag it on, but yeah, I'll just it's, it gets on my. So you saying his 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 record's been padded? <sighs> yeah, I can't. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can say that as such yet because he's still. I mean, how many fights has he actually had now? He's he, he's still young. Um, he's still young. This is this is the thing, and he's and he's there's not... been a lot lot made of his sort of white collar background. Uh, mm. So for those those of you who don't know, Fabio Wardley sort of came on the scene. Uh, he had a bit of a white collar background. He um he'd done a lot of sparring with 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 people and. And that's where he's, I think he was found by Dylan White. So Dylan White's his manager. And from there, he's been given some opportunities um, through Eddie Hearn. Um, and to be fair, he, he's he's done what he's needed to do, but he has shown some vulnerable, uh, vulnerabilities there. He has got good punch punch power, but he's, he has got that sort of Philly, you know, turtle shell defence. You know, it's he's, he's like, it's a bit of an awkward defence. I don't know if it does him too well, if I'm honest. And he does look like a Ninja Turtle as well. I'm not going to lie. Just put a shell in his back. (laughs) My man Fabio is going to be hunting you down. I I don't know. Anyway. (laughs) But but Nathan Gorman, so he lost to Daniel Dubois. Um, and he's been steadily building himself up. Uh, he's had some stuff going on in the background, but I think during that 
Daniel Dubois fight or just up before or after. He's been building himself up. He put on a lot of weight and he's been uh, trying to lose a bit. Bit like last couple of fights I've seen, he's started to lose it again. So um, it's yeah, it'll be interesting to see on his record though. Gorman. Yeah. Nah. Nah. No. Not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Nah, let me let me not... just double check. Let me just double check. You better check that because I don't think so. I think he's only lost to Daniel Dubois. Ah, uh, my bad. My bad. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nathan. <laughs> yellow card. <laughs> yellow card. You get one more yellow card. One loss. Off. One loss. <laughs> My bad. We'll be subbing you in. It's been, a, it's else. been a long night. <laughs> That's it. We've been, oh. see, it's been so, so long out of the game. Like, it's spit, oh, spit, spitting wrong facts. But, That's it. Um, but yeah, Nathan Gorman, uh, he's got that loss to Daniel Dubois, but. I'm interested to see where he goes. He's a very good technical fighter. Um, I think that's a great fight on the undercard. And then you've got Craig Richards as well versus uh, Bolotniks. Again, another good fight. Craig Richards, yeah. um, a great fighter. Fought Bawatsi, didn't he, last time around? I think it was. Was it last time around? But uh, what we went to that fight, didn't he? It was a good, good fight yeah, there. That was a wicked fight. That, was... um, I, that, that could have gone either way. So Yeah, that's true. Craig Richards yeah. be- belongs at the top. Yeah, he, he's he's one of those. He he's taken a lot of hard fights, mm. and he's not, and he he's done the opposite to what we were saying earlier. He's not he's not tried to pad his record. He's taken. Nah. He fought Bivol, didn't he? And he did well against yeah. Bivol. And obviously, we're seeing how gr- good Bivol is now. Um, again, a lot going on with him. We haven't been able to talk about obviously the last couple of weeks, but um. So yeah, so that that's a good good card. But yeah, I think we'll probably call it there. Um, as I said, there's a lot, lot going on in this weekend. It'd be interesting to see what happens in those other fights. It's interesting yeah. that they've put this fight against the uh, Parker Ryder fight. Obviously, Ryder's a Eddie Hearn fighter, matchroom fighter. They gave permission for um, for him to fight on the the Queensby card, and then suddenly announced that they got Dillian White the same night. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what that says, but. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens in that fight as well. So, um, but yeah, we've yeah, got a lot good. of boxing anyway. That's, that's a lot the main of boxing. Thing. It's good to be back. We're going to be bringing out more videos, going to be more active. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. get back to some of our old style videos. Um, mm. We'll get a bloodlust moment of the week. Hopefully, there'll be something from this weekend which we can show and throw in there. Um, and then there'll be a lot more stuff coming over the coming coming months. Mm-hmm. So, and then yeah, we'll be getting a few other people on there. Let's get let's get Ben back as well. Um, but yeah, let's go. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I like, I like it. I like a lot. <laughs> Press that like button. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, see you later, guys. Cheers. See you. Bye. 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 Peace. Peace. <laughs>